That's Paul Weimer back there on the drums, everybody.
Adam E. Orfita on the alto saxophone. Eeyore. Oh, 
said, tell me again, please, one more time.
Yeah. yeah. Come on, y'all. I said, y'all ready for a little bit of beatbox? Yeah. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We love you. We appreciate it. We'll be right back.
And I'll tell you no lie I'm only 22 years old Look into my eyes I shall be released from all touch If you please I think you got the wrong answer Let me go
from here Way too dark for me to steer So I'm standing there for the blind Baby, gonna ride it down, can't rule down But I've been a long time waiting on that train Better get on board before the rain Mama said you are the lucky son But I've been waiting on that Station man saying that you're too late But I'll spend the last of my poor boy's share Laid it on a line for railroad fare But I've been a long time waiting on that train Better get on board before the rain Mama said you are the lucky son But I've been waiting all night long And that train don't come Gotta get on out of here, been waiting too long in this town
on board before the rain Mama said you are the lucky son But I've been waiting all night Said I've been waiting all night I've been waiting all night long But that train don't come So we figured we'd come on down. We're in love with the saxophone player, but we don't believe in premarital sax. Oh, okay. We play mandolin at the same time, and Chris just came up like right away with, without even hesitating, came up with a bunch of parts to it, and uh, we wrote this song called Papa Lolo. I guess. Thanks, Adam. Thank you. 
was working on upstream, but he lets off the paddle and floats to the downward end. Now he's a boy on a big stream, just standing in the middle of a highway and a wayside. Got a song for a free man and a dance for the devil and a hymn for the rising tide. Say, and I am a rising sun. Well, I know a chosen boy. Watching all the creation by the light of a rising sun. Tell me about your one love. Go and tell it to your sister and tell us in a prayer for you. You got stones in the pathway and they're building like a temple that gotta push them down just to get through. I'm gonna tell it on the mountain. I'll be higher than the steeple do. You shout it all loud one time. Won't tell it on the mountain. Won't tell it to the people do. They shout it all now one time. I am a rising sun. Well, I know it's your own one. Watching all the creation.
It's Chris Jacobs on the guitar. Two roads 
straight ahead, brother. Tell me where. Tell me which one you gonna take. One you gonna take. last year and we really liked them so yeah so we figured we come on down we're in love with a saxophone player but we don't believe in premarital sax oh, okay. play mandolin at the same time and Chris just came up like right away with without even hesitating, came up with a bunch of parts to it. And uh, we wrote this song called Pacalolo. I guess. Thanks, Adam. Do you uh, have anything uh, interesting you'd like to say about the bridge, or uh, do they uh, do they just rock, or what? I think the bridge are, uh, I don't know, what do I say? They're an excellent up-and-coming band. They're from Baltimore, they're homeboys, they know what they're doing, and kick butt 
uh, don't record this. It's really bad. They're awesome. Uh, they're very talented. They um, they kind of started out young, and I and I have a lot of respect and admiration for them for where they've come musically. And I just see them growing more talented. And instead of just being a local band, attracting local groups, I can see them going on national tours and, and really exciting people across the nation. So. I know they play here every Wednesday, so we don't get to see them every Wednesday, but we see them at a couple festivals. We saw them at the Floyd Fest last year, and we really liked them, so yeah, so we figured we'd come on down. I've heard of them. This is actually my first time seeing them. I heard they're awesome, though. They kick ass. Oh, they, they're cool. Have you ever been to the Funk Box? I've never been to the Funk Box, but I hear it's a really cool place. The, the bridge is going to rock. The magic tonight will be the bridge kicking butt on stage. No, no passionately in love with their music. Get out. We love well, the bridge, we're their number one fans, and they're the best, what are you going to say? They're and if it go wasn't far. for all the boys that insist on standing in the front row, bending at Kenny's mandolin, we would always be in the front row, but... What's bad? Something. What's bad? They're the best, what's bad? We do, we do love the bridge. I saw that, I saw, I saw actually, I've seen, I saw their second show at a festival, and I've been seeing them, you know, ever since. Do you think they got what it takes to make it big? Yeah, I do. Definitely. They got a good mix of music. All kinds of influences, you know, everything blending together. Yes, awesome. Is there anything else, like maybe you have a favorite song they play? or? Uh... Well, we're in love with a saxophone player, but we don't believe in premarital sax. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Sure. <laughs> I've heard of them, but this will be my first time seeing them. So you guys are just kind of passing through, just kind of ch chilling, hanging out? We heard they were great, so we came out. They're awesome. They're all up the hook. I love them. So you guys come here all the time, and uh, any other good bands play here? Definitely. I came every night for the Wednesday shows in August or whatever month that was. I came every single night. It was off the hook. For those of us who love music, um, we'd love to know that. And maybe like what influenced you to start picking up your instrument, and maybe some of your also musical influences on your instrument or whatever instruments you're. Um, I started playing when I was about 16. I was about 16 years old. Um, I think the first thing that influenced me was after my first Dead concert. Um, dead. Dead. As grateful. grateful. Yes. <laughs> For those of us in the know, <laughs> sorry, buddy. Dead. But um, that uh, that started me off, and then from there, I got into uh, bluegrass music, jazz, blues, folk, all the like American root styles. Started playing the banjo, the dobro, and uh, yeah, just kind of tried to absorb up everything I could after that. Good thing. Well, thanks, good man. thing. Are you Kenny? I actually was given my first mandolin when I was 
a lot older. I was nine, eighteen years old. Chelsea Chin. <laughs> yeah, my friend Danny Rose uh, <laughs> gave me my first mandolin. His dad bought it for him, and uh, he gave it to me because he didn't couldn't figure out how to play it or whatever. And I just jammed with my friends. I've been beatboxing my whole life, ever since elementary school. Used to get in trouble for it. Were you living in Hawaii when you started playing mandolin? I wasn't. I didn't move to Hawaii, but I didn't. I didn't have too much time there for huh. for playing mandolin. I was more in about organic farming. Oh, okay. That's how you were going to your grandmother's house. I was going to my grandmother's house. I remember that. And yeah. you had your mandolin. I was like, I just got one of those. Yeah, too. I remember Pitching that. It. And that was a long time ago. Let me introduce you to Ryan Porter. He's a dork. <laughs> I actually started playing bass pretty much a day after Chris. We were both inspired by the same thing, Grateful Dead, and they went out and got his bass. I knew you guys guitar, I went out and got a bass. And we've been playing together ever since. Free? Uh, we got a drive later. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we've listened to the same thing, tickle, you know, grew a lot from the dead to other improvisational music, jazz, funk, that kind of thing. And uh, brought us to where we are now. Hey, uh, swing around to Adam here. Adam. And Paul? Yeah. Hey, well, let's, since Paul's closer. Uh, we're just gonna ask you now no how old you were, yeah. who influenced you, who your influences are. Okay, all right. I was, the first time I ever played in a live setting, I was 11 years old, it was sixth grade, Pikesville, Pikesville Middle School. The first time I got my drum set, I was 13 years old. Uh, it was a bar mitzvah gift. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, the first time I actually had an official band to play in, I was 14, I was a freshman in high school, Black Eyed Susan, and that's the deal. My influences, um, let's see, I'm a classic rock, I'm an old school classic rock guy, so I grew up loving John Bonham, Keith yeah. Yeah. Bill Bruford from Don't Yes, yeah. um, I've come to have, I have a lot of respect for a lot of the jazz drummers like Art Blakey, Tony Williams, Buddy Rich. Um, Carter Beaufort currently is an amazing drummer. <laughs> I'm not a huge Dave Matthews man, but he's a good drummer. Um, Dennis Chambers, Baltimore guy. <laughs> so there's tons of them, but I'm an old school classic rock fan, so a lot of those guys were my early influences. Tell us about your haircut. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a haircut pretty, pretty recently. You yeah, get arrested? Right. That's good. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm on the loose, so I had to change my identity. Change my name to Jeremiah Jones. <laughs> <laughs> um, one day I saw Keith Jarrett, Jack Janet, and Garrett Peacock playing on TV. And I remember it. I was like, I knew right then that that was the best kind of music. It was special. So it was inspiring, definitely. And so I started playing horn. That was like when I was 18, freshman in college. And I'm a big fan of all kinds of music. What's sound. big? And he's going to be on Jeopardy. He's going to be on Jeopardy. So if you hear this, Ken Jennings. KJ, you're out. Um, you're done. You're, done. Jeopardy. you're done, baby. AI's going to get you. Nothing. 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 You're like a genius or something? Someone told us that. Genius, Genius. Ninny. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Eric Dolphy, Kenny Garrett, Don Byron. Those are my boys. His boys, like he said. Thank you. Adam's so smart, but he has can't like open windows or <laughs> anything. He slammed his, his finger sense. in his cell phone. He can't make right turns because up next there's to no a, a uh, parking meter that said expired. And he says, wait guys, we can't park here. It says expired. Last <laughs> <laughs> name Trebek? Nah. One of those little tall girls, like super tall. Oh, <laughs> a year or two older than you. Oh, that girl. Yeah. Guy. I forget. I'm gonna like, shut up. <laughs> That's okay. We're not very good at interviews. We're just speak for yourself. We're just oh, regular. Enough? We're just regular people. Yeah. You guys like how do you shower? Well, that break was wild. Well, I just took one actually. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, they got You should get some footage of that shower. Uh, Kenny took his weekly a few minutes ago. <laughs> He's got that a little bit. By the way, I'm, I'm Garen's bed tonight, just in case anybody's warm. I'm Garen's cloud. <laughs> no, Garen's bed. Yeah. Well, I think we've had our fun. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, I. I'd like to tell this story real quick before we do this song. Me and Chris wrote this song together. It's called Pakalolo, and we actually were sitting in Chris's sunroom one day. He had this glassed-in room in his house, and that was 
snow outside. It was really beautiful. We had a fire going, and we were just sitting around. And I said, you know, I want to start, you know, beatboxing and playing the mandolin at the same time. And I had this thing. It was like the first thing I had ever like beatboxed at the same time and and done. I played mandolin at the same time. And Chris just came up like right away with, without even hesitating, came up with a bunch of parts to it. And uh, we wrote this song called Pacalolo. I guess. Thanks, Adam. I guess we're gonna uh, do it for you acoustic. Yeah. Just to show. Uh, I mean, you can if you want, but I mean, this is just like this is how the bridge started, like this. Thank you. 